Do you ever get lower biomass yields or cell viabilities than expected? You've prepared the shake flasks correctly and have chosen the appropriate shaking throw and speed. But have you considered the evaporation effects? During cultivation in an incubation shaker, water from the shake flasks evaporates gradually. This effectively increases the concentration of your culture medium, which can result in growth limitations. This effect increases with the process duration and is therefore most prominent in cell cultures. Fortunately, evaporation can be minimized by increasing the humidity in the shaker, but how can you do that? Some keep it simple and merely put a container with water into the shaker. Do you think this is a good idea? You wouldn't have precise control of the relative humidity, so condensation is likely to occur. Both the condensed water and the water in the container can be a breeding ground for mold, which could contaminate your culture. Is there a way to control the humidity whilst ensuring hygienic conditions inside the shaker? Yes, and it works like this. Water is evaporated outside the incubation chamber and dispensed into the shaker as steam. Should the humidity rise too high or the temperature set point be lowered, drier ambient air is supplied through a sterile filter. This way, you have a precise and reproducible bi-directional control of the humidity levels inside the shaker. At the same time, you avoid an open water bath and condensation effects which significantly lowers the contamination risk. If you need more information on shakers with hygienic humidity control, or if you wish to have a personal consultation, visit our website or contact us via our social networks.